Science and religion are undoubtedly two of the most important influences in our world today. And of course, it's necessary, I think, for us to ask the question, how do these two areas of human activity relate to each other? And I'm joined today by Dr. A.J. Roberts, who is a virologist and a molecular biologist and a Christian, who's given quite a bit of thought to this question and who's gonna help us unpack this. We've been following after Ian Barber's work in this area, who proposes four models for how science and religion relate. Uh, the conflict model, an independence model, a dialogue model, and an integration model. And today we're gonna focus on the integration model. So AJ, could you tell me what the integration model is uh, and um, maybe give an example of uh, a few people that might hold to an integration approach? So the integration model is, is a direct interaction between science and Christianity. And in the interaction model, you're actually allowing science to challenge and inform theology, and you're allowing your theological commitments to challenge and inform your science. And, and so integration is, is a bringing of the two together to bear in a way that is trying to harmonize uh, the book of nature and the book of scripture into a coherent worldview, uh, a view of reality. One that allows you to have uh, a high correspondence to reality and one that allows you to uh, try and avoid areas of contradiction. Now, wh why might one prefer that particular approach to science and religion? Yeah, I would say that personally, um, I haven't always preferred this particular position. Uh, I've often found myself in one of the previous models of independence uh, and then realizing that I was still, even in an independence model, trying to take the book of nature and the book of scripture seriously and authoritatively that they at least had to dialogue with one another. But integration is actually sometimes very difficult. And, and so to say that it's preferred, I think it should be preferred in the sense that it can actually help build a very robust worldview uh, and can help uh, articulate elements of Christian faith that become more plausible to someone outside of the faith if you can harmonize it with a view of, of science and reality. And so I haven't always preferred it and, and part of that was probably just ignorance and not knowing how to integrate the two. Uh, but part of it may be just the obstacle of how difficult sometimes it is to find integration between theology and science. You know, it's interesting to me because you made the point that even if you try to take an independence approach, you're forced into a dialogue model at minimum. But even then, it seems like ultimately you're forced into trying to integrate. And I would even think that would be true when it comes to a conflict model, because most certainly people who would say there is no scientific evidence for purpose in the universe, there's no scientific evidence for God, are actually saying that science is informing theology, even as it's even attempting to undermine it. Mm -hmm. So it seems like to me, you almost always wind up at, at, at integration or you're forced in that direction is that, is that a fair statement on my part? Well, I can, see, I can see why you would say that. And on one level, I, I would agree, but I would actually add the caveat that um, not everyone's forced into a position of integration because some people are, are quite comfortable either maintaining the conflict between the two because they so uh, disrespect or devalue the other position. Uh, and even some people who might hold independence, they might hold independence just because they're someone that likes to avoid conflict, uh, and yet they don't really see the value in uh, scientific discovery or scientific interpretations. They don't really see a value in saying that there are theological realities that can't be measured or explored. So I think it takes somebody who is, who is willing or able to detect that there is something beyond just the physical that we can examine, and that they really want to seek truth that harmonizes between these, these different areas. I think if you've got that type of an individual, then yes, they're going to find integration at some point or another, or find that they're seeking integration. 